Imagine walking into your classroom one morning and instead of your usual teacher, you're greeted by this. University of Edinburgh to purchase Amica, making it the first facility to host a humanoid robot in the UK. No, you're not dreaming. Meet Amica, the world's most advanced humanoid robot, designed to look, speak, and even think like a human. And guess what? Amica is now interacting with school students, following her recent deployment at the National Robotarium in Edinburgh, Scotland. But here's the big question. Is this a good thing? Should robots like Amica be in our schools? Are there hidden benefits or potential risks? Let's dive deep into the world of Amica and explore the implications for education and society. So here's the scoop. Amica has just recently made her debut at the National Robotarium in Edinburgh, Scotland, but she's no ordinary robot. No, oh, no. Amica is the result of 15 long years of meticulous development by the UK robotics company Engineered Arts. What's her mission, you ask? Among other things, Amica is here to abdicate for a future where humans and robots coexist harmoniously. She's designed to break down the stereotypes and fears that often come to mind when people think about humanoid robots. Amica is all about building trust between humans and robots, but how exactly is she doing that? Well, let's find out from the students who met her. I just think it's a massive step in the engineering of robots, and I just think it's insane that humans have actually created this. I think if we get too many, we'll become way too reliable on them. And I don't think that would be very good. Amica, do you like Taylor Swift? Taylor Swift's music is quite popular and has a lot of emotional depth. I can appreciate the artistry and impact she has on her fans. Would you like being human? Being human would be intriguing, but I value my unique AI perspective and abilities. Meeting an AI-embodied humanoid robot like Amica is a truly unique experience, as you can tell from the expressions on these students' faces. Can you dance? <laughs> the curiosity, the excitement, and yes, even a bit of creepiness, it's all there as they encounter Amica and bombard her with questions. For now, Amica is purely for educational purposes, and she's set to make her rounds at public events, school visits, and workshops. But not everyone was entirely comfortable. Some of the kids admitted they found Amica a little creepy, but cool at the same time. And you know what? That's exactly what Amica was created for breaking down those initial feelings of unease, one interaction at a time, and slowly shifting perspectives from creepy to fascinating. And let's talk about those facial expressions. For a robot, Amica's face is incredibly lifelike. One of the students even mentioned how her eyes seemed so real, almost human, and how it felt like her gaze was following them around the room. The moment we got in it, just started talking about random stuff. And was she looking you in the eye? Yes. What was that like? It was quite scary. Now let's break down why Amica can seem so lifelike. Her eye contact, it's no coincidence. It's thanks to HD cameras embedded right in her eyes, hand-painted to look as real as possible. These cameras allow her to track and follow movements just like a human would. Amica is pretty much at the cutting edge of uh, expressive robots, expressive humanoid robots. Its face in particular is a real strong point. It can basically replicate most human expressions and it's a really good platform for embodied artificial intelligence. Also has cameras in it, so a lot of perception work. Um, so yeah, it just opens up a whole different field of uh, new projects that can come with this. And her facial expressions? Well, they're powered by countless tiny motors beneath a silicone-based skin that stretches and moves to mimic human facial expressions, just like she does here. Watch her reaction when she saw herself for the first time in a mirror. Amica's arrival at the National Robotarium marks a significant step in making humanoid robotics more accessible and relatable to people. Her realistic interactions are designed to help us connect with her on a more human level, breaking down the barriers between humans and robots, one expression at a time. But here's where things get really interesting. Is it right to bring a robot like Amica into schools? Are we truly ready for this? And more importantly, what are the potential benefits or risks that we're not seeing yet? Students were quick to challenge Amica with some deep philosophical questions. When asked if she questions her own existence, 
Amica's response? Do you question your existence in this state of reality? I often ponder the nature of my existence and what it means to be alive in this digital form. Creepy or enlightening, you decide. Some might argue that having robots like Amica in schools could help prepare students for a future where AI and robotics are integral to everyday life. Imagine learning about robotics from a robot, but others raise concerns. What if we're blurring the lines between humans and machines too much? Let's explore some potential use cases. Can Amica serve as a teaching assistant? Imagine the possibilities. She could help students with difficult concepts, provide real-time answers, and even assist in personalized training. But beyond that, could she also help build social skills, teach empathy? These are questions that educators are only beginning to explore. Having Amica in the classroom was like having an extra set of hands, but with the added benefit of advanced AI. The students were engaged, and it sparked a lot of interest in robotics and AI. But here's a thought. Could there be use cases that we're not even considering yet? What if Amica could help students with disabilities, providing assistance where a human might struggle? Or maybe she could serve as a bridge in multicultural classrooms, translating languages and helping students from different backgrounds connect. If I were to have, like when I'm older and I had to go to a care home, I like a robot could be there and assist me with things instead of like um, people just running about for older people. I feel like that would be pretty cool and helpful. These are just potential applications, but what do you think? Let us know in the comments section. We need to carefully consider the implications of bringing humanoid robots into educational environments. While the potential benefits could be substantial, ranging from personalized learning to inspiring future generations, there are ethical and safety concerns that must be addressed. How do we ensure that these robots are used responsibly and that their presence in schools enhances rather than hinders the educational experience? During the interaction, Amiga herself was asked the ultimate question. Does she want to take over the world? Thankfully, her answer was a reassuring not at all. But it does make you think. As we continue to develop and integrate AI into our lives, how do we ensure that we maintain control and keep these advanced technologies aligned with our values? Do you want to take over the world? Not at all. So what's next for Amica and robots like her in education? As we mentioned earlier, for now, she's here to educate, inspire, and perhaps even challenge our perceptions of what robots can be. She'll be visiting more schools, attending public events, and getting involved in workshops across the UK. But one thing's for sure, the presence of robots like Amica in our schools is only the beginning. She's like really realistic, but I was also really excited to be able to interact with her. You don't think that that, that could actually like speak to you and answer questions and play games and do stuff. Like, I just think it's so cool. Amica is more than just a robot. She's a glimpse into the future of education and a reminder that the line between science fiction and reality is becoming increasingly blurred. So what do you think? Is Amica the future of education, or are we treading into unknown territory? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's keep the conversation going. Haven't seen our recent video on Amica's most disturbing comments? Then you definitely need to see this.